fine by me. That means you and I get some girl talk time. Oh, that stings, Mari. And here I thought I had a place in your heart. <laughs> well, no one knows a lady's heart like a bartender. I guess you can stay. Uh, the two of them are making me nauseous. Okay, no, the two of them sure can't keep up with each other. But if I'm going to ask questions, I better order a drink. Yeah, okay, see, that's so funny you brought that up, too. Is I, That was the first thing I thought of, too. When we went in there, there was the rich girl, the rich lady. No, she, she, she was in the other game. She didn't want anyone to know what she did for a living. And then we find out that it's... Uh, uh, she gambles. She's a gambler. Professional gambler. I'm pretty, I, and she's sitting in the same spot, so I'm wondering if that's supposed to be that girl. Even though it doesn't seem like that's the same girl, because this girl is ta speaking all elegantly and shit. But, I mean, she's in the same spot. I mean, they should have had her... It's just something different. Let's see. All these bottles got Hypnotic. me feeling lost. Yeah. Care for a few pours from Todd. <laughs> yeah. It'll be our secret. Besides, a man with his tab can't. Sorry, I'm not very elegant myself. You're too kind. <laughs> so I'm actually here to ask you, how can I set up a meeting with RK? Darn. So this wasn't a pleasure call. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm glad you're at least enjoying it. Story and he said, wow, you're one of the guys who are doing it. Please, yeah, the twerk yeah, would embarrass funny. me. Hey, you know, whatever. My apologies. <laughs> I suppose being surrounded we are who by we such are. beauties has a timeless appeal, even at my age. I'll second <laughs> that. Masuda here is looking at least a year younger. <laughs> Was that supposed to be a compliment? <laughs> of course. If you got any younger, you'd be much too handsome. What's a girl to say? And I'll second that. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way Sari is enjoying this. Oh no, this isn't good. I'm getting so relaxed. I might forget about work. Oh no, this is this is Sari relaxed. Anyhow, is Sari gonna start curving out? The good news is those guys are everywhere. But it's not like a civilian can just roll up <laughs> yeah. and ask, Hey, are you okay? And expect to get an answer. You got that right. And Sauri Chan needs to ask them something that's kind of sensitive. How do you know? Oh, that's certainly going to make things challenging. She probably just said so. I just didn't... a bit, yeah. So I say, why not let the boys do the chasing? Wouldn't be hard for an enchantress like you. Yeah. But honey. We need to do something about your look. Some nice clothes and a Here we little go makeup, again. and you'd be unstoppable. Are we are we gonna do another I, makeover with Sari? I second something. I suppose I would need to look approachable. Oh Talk my! To me once. Devil's Have you gonna ever hate felt you like out it, Chan? You could put every hostess in Kamrojo to shame. I've got to admit, I'm curious. Well, a good hawk hides her talent. You're saying I should dress like a hostess for this? Oh, yes. <laughs> well, I'm sure there are other ways. Hostess but if you want a foolproof twinkie. plan to snag an RK, you've got one. Sounds oh, good. If you want, I can get you some looks. And you can choose what you like. I get the message. And I suppose yes. I'll take you up on that. Cool, let's just okay. jump straight to it. Then leave the rest to me. Are all of your clothes in your trunk? We're going straight into it. See, they, they wanted to reuse this, guys. That's so silly. Change dress? Hell oh, yeah, change dress. Let's make her look ridiculous. Oh, that's a hoe. <clears throat> that's a hoe for show. That's elegant. Oh, that's a hoe. That's a hoe. To <laughs> Barbie. What would be Barbie? I don't know how to make her look like Malibu Barbie. The uh, this one? With the, <laughs> Okay, yeah, that did make me think, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blonde hair, can you do that? Oh my god. 
Oh, I don't think we can change her hair color. I don't think we can. Yeah, I guess she always would have a basic ponytail, huh? Uh, is there a longer ponytail? Do this one. Oh my god, it can be blonde. I don't want that hair. We're gonna do different hair. If we do do the ponytail. That looks more like a doll's hair. Come on, I want darker red. Gross. Wait, do they just have normal? What happens with blonde people here? Let's go with that one. <laughs> do we give her a tiara? Nah, uh, that. Oh no, this isn't. This isn't no. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> this is so awkward to approach this lady in the streets. Uh, uh, uh pearls, pearl necklace for sure. <laughs> uh, to match her lipstick. I gotta believe the heart. I don't know. Doesn't seem like she would wear anything else. Does she even wear the jewelry? Let's do Belle. <laughs> this is the sad thing is this is sorry, and she would hate us. This is the worst possible thing. We could ever do to this girl. She. This is the worst thing we could ever do to her. We're monsters. We're freaking. We're, we're like Frankenstein's monster, man. This is funny. Now we have to roam the streets and try to talk to gang members dressed like this. Talk was right on the money. <laughs> She's the most popular street. Are you sure about that, Marisan? Yeah. I hardly feel comfortable wearing this in front of you. What are you saying? You're so pretty. <laughs> I wouldn't say so. <laughs> really? You're dynamite. Not bad. I should have. I wonder if I could have got curlier There's hair, but holy fuck, that is incredibly close. What's that? That is incredibly close. Right. That's the it's just the bangs with this hair. I could have done. I feel like I could have got that hair better. <laughs> I'm not sure I have that. Yeah, uh, that's funny. How about your pride as a lawyer? You have that, don't you? As a lawyer? <laughs> oh. Yes, there it is. Go ahead and take Looks it like, off. yes, it does. That's the one thing I thought of when, yeah, when we were uh, changing the hair color. Now it's that's shiny. the face <laughs> of the girl who gets the man she wants. It's like that fucking horse hair, whatever it's the hell it is. Since I felt this way. It's like, sh yeah. I to thank for that. These bad boys won't know what hit them. Now, uh, 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 let's go uh, dangle the bait. You mean us, right? You I, I, I don't see like any like street thug street, even giving... I feel like she's just gonna get robbed. Especially she's just gonna get robbed. Avenue, 
She's gonna lose her tea. Why don't we take a walk? Uh, are you sure? <laughs> I don't want to. Down the dangerous <laughs> streets. <laughs> are you kidding? And miss the chance to see this makeover in action? This is pretty funny. I want you to succeed. I promise I won't be a bother. <laughs> Uh, time to walk down Center Road. If any arcade guys approach us, we'll reel them in. For sure. <laughs> then I can ask them about you and you can see what they find us. Detective Barbie. We need, we should have, we should uh, have some glasses in our pocket. So, once we turn into Detective Barbie, we can put the glasses. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> My, um, oh crap. My convertible broke down, down the road. I need help. My convertible, it broke down, down the road. Hello? Uh. Uh. Uh, my very expensive cell phone ran out of batteries and my and my convertible broke down, down the road. Can you, are you, are you guys RK? Can, can you help me? Hello? Uh. 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh god, here we go. <laughs> How you doing? Uh, uh oh, me, here ladies. they are. You uh, get lost on the way to the beauty pageant. Rory, this guy's our guy. Maybe heading to work somewhere in town. That's what we no, want here. We're just two girls bar hopping by our lonesome. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, in that it's, case, why don't you I don't even us? feel like this is sorry. Great place. You could drink all you want. Wow, you guys loaded or something? This is so weird. We can throw them back, you know. Like I don't even sure? know what I'm playing right now. Oh yeah, <laughs> there's a place my buddy runs. He'll be thrilled to see some ladies like you. Oh yeah, like real princesses. If they're arcade, then it might be a good time to take them But how can I know for sure? Uh, I mean, you can't really ask people that stuff. <laughs> I love that movie. Who loves you? Uh, you know. I think you guys may have. What I'm saying is, tonight I want to take a trip on the wild side. Oh yeah, talk to me, baby. There's this guy in my life, a real choir boy, and being with him has got me feeling so repressed. Now I know I should behave like a good girl, but I figure I owe it to myself to cut loose every now and again. What the fuck oh, is going on? You never told me that, sorry, Chan. <laughs> yeah, what is yeah, going on? Girl, I'll get loose with you. No. Yeah. Let's get drunk and dirty. <laughs> Thing is, we all know the biggest party people in town are RK. Mm. Good. I'm glad she worked that in. They can really spice things up, you know? I thought she lost focus. But sorry, Chan. Why limit yourself to RK? I think these boys are plenty attractive. <laughs> I'm starting to think we were meant for each other. Oh? What oh, makes so you they so are bad? Okay. Wait, don't tell me you're... Not supposed to be blurting it out, but yeah. We're RK. And pretty high up, too. They're pretty full of shit. RK wouldn't be what it is now without us. Oh, they're full of shit. Get this big either. I swear to God, if Sari Sensei dies in this outfit, and this is what is how they bury her, I could. This is the worst thing we've ever done to her. I'm so concerned she's gonna die on these streets. <laughs> garbage, right? <laughs> I even took the coffee order just last week. It went in their meeting. Come on, we do that. Some about you and coffee. But... RK has Comrocho pretty much wrapped around its finger now, huh? 
Just about. Time of the Yakuza laying down the law is over. Ooh, all that respect, chivalry shit. Dead, like all the old legends. Now the underground so world is a jungle. And winning the fight's all that matters. I know wow, crime used to be, be hard, but I think somewhat hard. somewhat honorable, right? With that the mafia and the yakuza, me. there were rules. Are you RK guys looking for someone recently? There's rules. There's a man who disappeared there's respect. A few years ago. Oh yeah. Now it's just a bunch yeah. of punk asses. We were looking for Everyone out for themselves. A girl's bar. See, I knew you guys would know what that's about. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Five years ago, he suddenly disappeared. <laughs> the puppy coats are pretty popular with all of these gang members. You see it quite a bit. That's so crazy, though. What happened to him? You have rented Yeah, but I did have a puppy coat when I was younger. Ah, didn't work For out. For sure. No surprise, he was just a punk anyway. His name was Kawhi. The way I heard it, some of his old friends rolled up on him one night. My guess is, it was trouble from another town catching up to him. Anyway. They argue for a bit, and it ends with the guy getting shoved into a van. And that's the last time anyone saw the dude. Whoa, what do you think happened? I'm thinking they both <laughs> If he was still breathing, he'd be back by now. I heard he never even picked up his final paycheck. Uh -oh. I guess he's fish food now. Or they buried him on some remote ass mountain. You have any idea who would have done that to him? It's an ass mountain. Oh, no. They say it was ten or so people, young, both men and women. Doesn't sound like a gang thing. But who knows, right? It was five years ago. A group of civilians shoved Kai into a van, and then they were, and they were old acquaintances. So are we actually getting some info here? This is ridiculous. But if you heard all that, there must have been witnesses, right? So you're saying someone actually saw him get shoved in a van? Yep. Some chick working at his bar saw it all go down. Ooh. At least that's what we heard from a guy who heard it from that chick. Who Where heard it from a, anyway? another You mean chick. some random dive bar half a decade ago? Who the hell knows? A hundred places have sprung up and gone under since. But then, why would anyone be looking for Shinya Kawai now? Did someone ask RK to find him? Think that's right? Hell if I know. It's a question for the top of the food chain. But hold on a sec. Yeah, why are you asking you so many something? questions? Huh? Just a minute ago, you mentioned a Shinya Kawai. Oh, shit. How do you know that name? How'd you know his full name when we never told you? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Sorry. You were talking to us because you wanted dirt on Kawai. So who the hell are you? We fucked up. <laughs> what do you up. think you're doing? I'm telling Let you, this is dangerous. Her. It's too dangerous. Oh, Oh, I'm so going just an RK fangirl. I can't, we don't want to make herself, then they'll just take us and kill us. We're going to have to do sexual favors in order to get out of this. No one. I'm just an RK fangirl. Don't jump to conclusions. So, could you stop? Really? Yeah, my bad. Guess you don't really look suspicious. You fucking moron! Don't you realize Shit. he's playing you? Uh, he's right. No charming your way out of this one. <laughs> Start talking. <laughs> Alright, let's come clean. Let's come clean. I'm Saori Shirosaki. Attorney at law. I love the change of voice. Instant. Yes, I love it. You're gonna but you sound it. different. <laughs> I think I give a crap about what your job is. I'm saying things will go very badly for you if you keep this up. Big talk for a chick dressed to the nines to get info. Huh? Sorry, Chan. Yeah. Don't even try to fuck with us, lady. Sorry, Chan. Huh? What the? Oh. Wait, we know this guy. Beat it, punk. Oh my god. The guy she saw. Asshole. Oh nice. He was I swear, these jerks are popping up like roaches. Wait, he's Axiakiza? Um, or I don't remember. No thanks needed. Just be careful on your own. Especially when you're beautiful. 
Sent you when you're beautiful. So Adorable. Much, I just said you don't. Wait. How do you know my name? <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> It's me, Shirazaki, oh, man. from Gendalon. I know, right? For this it's moment. Holy shit! No way! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. I didn't realize. Shirazaki no way. sensei. <laughs> I didn't recognize you. You look incredible. That's a lie. That's a damn lie. <laughs> what a bizarre reaction. You're the one who is no incredible. Way. This is all I was the one who put Marisan in danger. You would have saved us. <sighs> Young, strong, handsome. That's three out of three for me. Those guys were RK. The town's practically overrun with them these days. Tori Higashi-san, former Matsugune, Ma Matsugune family member of the Chojo clan. Yep, he's like a brother to Kaido-san. Yep, and he knows Yagami-san too. But we we kind of had beef with him for a little bit, but... He turned out to actually be a pretty swell guy. And then he helped us later in the game. He rents his arcade full time now, but apparently he still keeps uh keeps up with the Yakuza fashion trends. If you'd like Hell yeah. I can escort you somewhere safe. <laughs> yeah, time on my hands. <laughs> 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 just prolong it for Perfect. super long. <laughs> Who says we can't still salvage some fun out of tonight? Oh, uh, before uh, we do that, let me call Yagami san uh, Ridiculous. If you're going over the top, you might as well just go so far over. It's just bizarre. Uh, I was bully 13 years ago. If we don't, if I don't press X, the phone's just gonna ring endlessly. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, Yagami's still a jackass, I see. Shirosaki sensei <laughs> Tell me how you really feel, Jesus. Rings. It is strange that he's not picking up. I'll try again. I think you say the main character's dead? Blur RK out on center up. Oh, that's what we did, being as sexy as we were. Uh -huh. Wait, what? Kind of gives me deja vu now that I think about it. Here you have Kawaii and Mikoshima, two known school bullies, and they both end up murder victims? That could be for a number of reasons. It's not rare for people to disappear in Kamurocho. Usually the trouble is money or women. Maybe that was the case for Kawhi. Could be. Okay. We'll investigate Kawhi a bit more on our end. <sighs> With RK asking around. Word on the street will be loud enough to hear. <laughs> Alright, thanks. Well, okay, what's going on? Now I guess I wait for Silas since there's still a lot of time before the cut meeting ends. Or she's totally gonna slip away before we get her. A message from Amasawa? This is the little girl. Yagami-san, one of our my underclassmen wants to talk to you. Could you come to the club room again after class if it's not too much trouble? Oh man, wants to talk about her underclassmen. I've got time, so I might as well go see what's going on. Oh, they want me to do side stuff. It's still a bit before the faculty meeting ends, and she kills time elsewhere. What do they want? Kill us some time? Alright, well, we're here. We might as well talk to the kids. I don't want to go back to the office just to be like, oh, well, I guess we can come back now. Let's go talk to Nancy Drew. Pretty sure that as we progress with that, we'll progress with the dance club. We can get back. We can get to practicing our new dance routine. <clears throat> yeah, give me sign. I haven't even seen it yet. I'm excited for the third dance routine. I'm a Sawa. Um. <laughs> yeah, so they can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so, yeah, we're just going to go with Amasawa then. Dancing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Once you start this side case, everything else will you put on hold until you clear it? Surely past time. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. 
That's so funny that we have that emo. That's so great. Sure thing. After all, I am the MRC's much. officer, blah, blah, blah. So we just, uh, this is our super secret. Okay, it's not secret because we tell everyone about it. Our super cool after school detective club agency ran by this lady. We have another member, but she doesn't come to school and she's kind of a bitch. Amasawa's brother shows up sometimes. We're important. Go get him right now. Be right back. Yeah. Yeah, good. This motherfucker looks like he's 30. He does not go here. I'm Hisayoshi Shimada, a second year. I'm Yagami, the MRC's advisor. Nice to meet you. Hey. Okay, so what exactly do you need help with? Yagami san, do you believe in things like what curses? <laughs> what? I'm sorry, what? Just to preface, this case is going to sound either mysterious or ridiculous, depending on your answer. I, I know it's going to sound crazy, but please, you have to believe me. Tell me what's going on first, then we'll see how it ranks with all the crazy things I've heard. Curse of the Amasawa family heirloom. We've, uh, we've done some pretty weird cases. Hey. Lucky cat I have at home. You mean one of those statues of a cat waving its paw, or like an yes. actual cat? The former, yes. Ooh. You know the cats, guys, right? Cats, it's just, you know. <laughs> you know the cats. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you know, like these cats, you know? The ones that just do this all day. <laughs> it's fun. They're lucky. <laughs> well, I mean, they're not lucky if they have a sore shoulder. They're, they're real unlucky in that case, because they're going to be doing that for a while. But uh, the former yes, they're said to bring good fortune. They can spot them in all sorts of businesses. Oh, no shit. That's why we always see them in the businesses, the good fortune. I just thought because they were cute, and they do the little arm thing. All right. There are quite a few kinds. Most of them are said to bring good luck. But black lucky cats are supposed to ward off bad luck in particular. I don't think I've ever seen a black one. Didn't know they got that specific. The thing is, my lucky cat doesn't do any of that. It sucks. <laughs> it doesn't bring money or good luck. It just attracts tragedies. Hmm? What, did you get the ginger cat? Oh my god. Maybe you should clean it. Looks like the Day of the Dead cat. Here, this is it. <laughs> What's wrong with this hair? Oh, yeah, all right. <laughs> There's, do you see multiple, like, variations of the hair to where some is wild, some, some of it. Yeah, no, I can see, I can see. <laughs> yeah. Uh, bought it from an antique dealer for friends of his. Usually they're really expensive, especially the pre war ones like this. My dad, the pre-war ones, man, it definitely is cursed. Dad's friend warned him at the time, this cat brings more bad luck than good. Why would he take it, then? Why'd your dad buy the thing if it's supposed to be cursed? He collects all sorts of rarities, especially the stuff with interesting stories. He goes nuts for those. Hmm. Sounds like, um, an interesting guy. But yeah, a lucky cat that brings more bad luck than good? I admit, that's an intriguing hook. And Yagami-san. Curse. Or whatever it is, evidence is starting to pile up, making it seem well. real. Ever since acquiring that statue, the Shimadas have been through one ordeal after what another. Like what? Oh, look, yeah. Some pretty scary stuff. My dad got a really high fever all of a sudden and was touch and go for a bit. Did he pull through? Because that seems lucky. Our house caught on fire, too. Was it when your dad was sick? And maybe he shouldn't have been cooking that night? Wow, potential arson and serious illness? You weren't kidding, that's scary stuff. And my grades keep slipping ever since dad bought the thing. I never dropped below 10th place before this. Well, you're gonna learn, kid, that as you grow up, you're gonna find out that you're really not that special. And the stuff you thought you were pretty talented at, you're really just mediocre. Hmm. Is that really the statue's fault, though? Well, you sure can't blame me for the ghosts. Mm. One woke my dad up. And I, I woke up in the middle of the night. Standing right there next to his bed. A ghost did? He was dressed like an old-timey soldier and totally pale. Just stood there like he was all, he was at attention. Ooh, see, it's all warlike. 
the ghost of a soldier went into this cat and it's like Chucky, but the cat doesn't move, so I guess the worst he could do is just kind of be like, you know, bad stuff's gonna happen to you. Uh, but he kept moaning, give me back my cat. My dad thought he was dreaming, so he rolled over and went back to sleep. Mean? Just a dream? Yeah. I don't know, but the next day, that's when he's, we, he started feeling awful. Yo, if I was laying in bed and I saw that and I just rolled over, I don't think I would get my take my eyes off the fucking thing even if i was in a dream if i roll over that just gives the ghost opportunity to attack we all played mario the ghosts can't progress on you if you have your eyes on them it's when you turn around when they get you i'm saying if his dad saw the ghost should have known this was real life and he was it was not a dream she have got up and punched the ghost Brain the fucking fact. Face. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. They even have statues like that in Doctor Who. Yeah, when you look away. I see. Always got to keep your eye on them. Back up. Yeah. Walk around backwards. Always keep your eye on them. So yeah, it's hard for me to believe that the dad didn't like that this is this is real. His dad's either a liar or he's an idiot. Is what got ran over by a car? It's still going on. This is really doesn't sound like coincidence anymore. I don't know what it could be. Well when they say it when it rains it pours, probably safe to consider a further misfortune inevitable that may help us determine the cause before any irre irreversible damage is done. I'm telling you, it's the cat. Hmm. Dude, what do you want? What do you want? Ooh, it's you. Why even keep up? Or Excuse why even keep me. it? Yeah, here's a question. If you're all creeped out by it, why do you just why don't you just throw it up? It's my dad. He refuses to get rid of it. He says the previous owner was this famous author who met his demise because of the statue what? oh son of a bitch so the statue was cursed even back then it's killed its previous owners why would somebody want this thing my dad said the guy died when it's, he hit his head on it are you serious oh my god it's probably the ghost of that guy that's in it or something that is quite the story yikes <laughs> but is that what it, he, yeah that's correct <laughs> oh yuck Apparently, his whole fan base is obsessed with the statue. That's why it's considered really valuable, despite uh, the curse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's the author, by the way? Yeah, that paw seems like that would do some serious damage. Uh, Kitten Amasawa, he was a mystery novelist and my grandfather. What? Your grandfather? Oh, and you said hitting his head on the statue? Are you sure someone didn't use the statue to hit his head? Boy. So this is actual cat that you know. Yes. Well, only if this is truly the exact same statue my grandfather mm -hmm. owned. So you don't know if it's this is actually the same one. Well. My grandfather uh, has been missing ever since he passed away about seven years ago. Shortly after he died, my grandfather pawned it off. She always thought it was rather creepy. I see. Hit his head. It's gone. Can you tell me he sat on it? It makes more sense. You just yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, can you tell from this picture if it's the same as the grandfather? That's how rumors get spread. Someone put the someone put the statue or the cat on his chair so he would sit on it. Just a simple practical joke. It impaled him, caused rectal bleeding, died from it, and then everyone says, "Oh yeah, this guy was a pervert. He was shoving. He he used to have sex with the statue all the time. He was into that kind of thing." That's how rumors get started. <laughs> just a moment. It's also seven years ago. <laughs> and all the way over. <laughs> Oopsies. Yeah. But I do remember that the cat was cursed even back then. It was somewhat a rarity collector himself. Of course, he jumped at the chance of owning a one of a kind unlucky cat. <laughs> 
Your grandfather was quite taken with it. He bragged about it quite a bit when I was little. I'm sure he never imagined his life ending because of his unlucky cat. Hmm. <laughs> uh, a lucky cat took the life almost saw his grandfather seven years ago and now is back wreaking havoc for another family. Yagami-san, I'm not one to believe in the supernatural. All mysteries must be approached rationally, no matter how unusually they present themselves. That's what I firmly believe. Yeah, <laughs> and it can't live it down. <laughs> uh, logic is always found at the true core of any mystery. Right. That being said, that's also why my grandfather's unexplained death has stuck with me for past seven years. Mm. I assume the police ruled it was <laughs> accidental, right? But. So, yeah. If that's the case, it kind of sounds pretty explained. No, actually, on the night my grandfather passed away, I also experienced a strange event. One that was rationally explanation, a rational explanation and could only be considered a supernatural phenomenon. <laughs> really? What happened? I'm sorry. I'm not sure how to explain this. Let's just focus on finding out if this is actually the same cat or not. I'm starting to think our theory is true. Gotcha. <laughs> She's embarrassed. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, sure, we can do that. Rare for Amasawa to not have the words. Hmm? <laughs> uh, yeah, I can statue that took her grandmother's life. I can see why it's uh, been so tough to talk about. I can be stopped. I am getting to the bottom of this case one way or another. If, if something's causing all the tragedies around this cat, there's a good chance more will occur. I don't want anything as awful as what happened to my grandfather to happen to anyone in Shimada family. Oh, okay. Makes sense to me, after all. They're all about preventing incidents from the, yes. before they take place. Ah, this case is personal. Could you please help me get to yeah. the bottom of this? Uh, this case just seems kind of gross now. I don't want to have my hands anywhere near it. Thank you very much. <laughs> sure. Well, to start with an investigation, first things first, I'd like to see the statue yes. in person. With some Kleenex. Please. Do you think your father would mind showing it to us? Well, he said he was going to be busy with it for the next few hours, but I could probably text him. I bet he'd love to uh, he'd, uh, be over the moon to have one of Katana Amasawa's descendants confirm his statue's a real deal. Yeah. <laughs> the cat's more important than the thing. <laughs> yeah, I want to dance. I'll give him a call now. <laughs> he says, yeah, he'd love to meet you guys, in fact. Good to hear. Where should we meet up? Or meet him? Cafe near the station. We've been to Plague. Plague. It'll be faster than getting him signed to the school's reception and everything. Is that okay? Okay. That's fine. I would have felt bad asking him to come all the way here anyways. Well, I'll make my way to the cafe now. Let's not let's meet up front. Great, we're going to a cool pub. <laughs> but but yeah, yeah. I can't tell about it. Yeah. Yeah, this is what we do. This is what we do. Yeah. It's like the I, I don't know if I still have it or if I took it off, but one of the emotes was the butt shaking. I might have taken that off, so it's just the butt. But it seems like the butt plus cat, and then it would equal the. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Uh, um, where we got to go to this club, not club, uh, cafe. Okay. Do, do, do. Yagami-san, would oh. you say that you tail people often? I mean, it's a big part of the job. Do you have any tips for avoiding the target's suspicion? I tend to get made fairly quickly when tailing. What's an average high schooler? Oh my god, she's with me? Anyway? Oh, that's I so funny. I can't help myself when I pick up a lead. Kind of dangerous. When... Where are we headed? Where's Plage?
This one. You don't know your target, don't you think? But in the end, isn't it worth it if I can prevent an incident? No. Not if it's something that puts your own life at risk. <laughs> I somehow hadn't considered that. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. Uh, we just... Unfortunately, because she's following us, we can't use our... Uh, skateboard, hoverboard, spacecraft. Hey, Amber. We, 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 were, we were doing a lot of cats and butts talk. A bunch of cats and butts. Okay, let's run. Ooh, I wish we had a moped in this. Imagine a moped. That would be great. Hey, maybe we should fight this guy. Ah, uh, I don't even think we... Oh, good, we can. Good night. We worked him. We did really well. Well, the girl's grandpa died for a second cat statue in the fight. That's. <laughs> yeah. That seems to be the case. Seems to be it. It's uh, really narrowed it down. Just woke up and. But. Anyway. I had no idea <laughs> yeah, it hasn't proven it wrong yet. Yeah, you're right. Are you surprised? No. If anything, it's obvious that you're his granddaughter. Take a midday nap well, there, Amber. The Nothing like a good nap in the, the middle of the day. Of Kitan Amasawa. You should become the kind of detective that make him proud. For that to be possible, I need to take on yeah. as many cases as possible <laughs> take a... to hone my instincts. You <sighs> blundered into a case and well, you take a nap right yourself. now. Would that make Grandpa proud? Uh, the more I hold back, though, the more curious I get. Once I've caught a whiff of a mystery, the Amasawa blood in me starts pumping. It's quite a burden you wound up in. <sighs> That's called a hemorrhage, and you should probably go see a doctor. <laughs> Amasawa Senpai. Ah, you're Kitana Amasawa. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, yeah, nice to meet you. I'm Kyoko Amasawa. I don't know. That doesn't make no sense, Amber. I don't know. Sons told me about you. Thank you for being such a good senpai to him. He said but a lot. <laughs> I'm surprised seeing you for the first time. You definitely have Amasawa's blood. I feel like a heroine ripped straight from one of his novels. I can already tell you're not just a nice face. You're smart as a whip. Who says that? You're smart as a whip? I think this guy's a pervert. Oh, she's into it. She says whip. Oh, this is a dad? Oh, yikes. Ugh. Wait, they're not brothers? Like, her and him? Alright. I apologize. Apologies. <clears throat> I'm primarily a detective in Kamarocho. Oh, ho, 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 ho. A genuine detective. This is just getting better. It's, it's funny trying to progress the story in this, this case while having this theory in mind. Because then every little bit is just like, well, how does this relate to that? And it's just like, why are we doing that? Uh, the season private eye trolling the seedy underbelly of the city with his uh, wonderkind, wonderkind, wonderkind teen sidekick. Man, I already want to buy the whole series. This guy's a pervert. I don't even want to hear what he has to say. Yeah, you know, I'm really sorry about my dad. He, 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 let's head inside. Inside where? Oh, it's another one of those squirrels. Yo, they're all around the city and stuff. I bet we have to find them all. Hmm. Yeah. Yes, of course, here. There was a girl outside the school that I that starts that side quest or whatever. 
Um, yeah, should do it. Gross. Brought it to a taping of that TV appraisal show a few days ago. They couldn't determine whether it not whether or not it belonged to Katan Amasawa, though. But if it turns out to be the real deal, it's supposed to be worth two million yen, huh? like two hundred bucks, two thousand bucks. Yeah. I mean, considering its legacy, it's basically the holy grail to his fan base. But still, two million. Do you think you could tell if he's actually your grandfather's Amasawa? Please feel free to inspect it. Please use use Kleenex. Use handkerchief. Use use gloves. Don't touch it. If you wipe it yeah, it's um. He hasn't kept he hasn't kept it nice and clean. Oh, this deep red stain. Jesus Christ. No way. Is that is that from yep yeah, that's that's what split the recta recta <laughs> just split it and it, uh, it was just all downhill from there oh it's from when you splash ketchup on it when I was little oh that's cute that's cute Be eating a hot dog in the study got ketchup all over the bra the room what who, how who eats a who eats a hot dog that messily well, eating may not be accurate. More like swinging it around like a sword? I was really into this historical drama at the time. My grandfather and I. This is a sick family. Sounds like you were quite a little hellion that as a kid. Said. But this stain? I don't know if anything else can make it clear to me that this is my grandfather's statue. Woohoo, I knew it. Yes. We can get millions for this. Sorry, Esli. Wow. Talk about the score of a lifetime. Excuse me. Sorry, if this question comes across a bit strange, sir, but I must ask: Does this statue ever make noise, like when it tries to like <clears throat> enter your rectum? Does my cat statue meow when it tries to enter my rectum? Well. Well, the thing is, on the night my grandfather died. Seven years ago, I heard the cat meow as it entered his rectum. This cat, it meowed at me as it tried to enter my rectum. Are you serious? Amasawa, is this the supernatural phenomenon you referred to before? Yes. Yes. Hey. Could you give us some more details? Sorry. I know this must be hard. No, I understand. We have to do it for the case. This is becoming disgusting. It's the first time I've seen Amasawa like this. Well, this is a pretty serious topic. The incident seven years ago. The statue's meow. Okay, now let's go. Let's go back in time. Amasawa. You said your grandfather's death was ruled an accident. Was there even a slight chance that it was actually a crime? Yes. Police came and checked the scene, but they said they couldn't find anything suspicious. Besides, happened in a locked room. Not only was the door to the study inaccessible, but the crescent locks on all the windows were still secure. A locked room, death, and a cursed statue. This is sounding more and more like one of Katana Amasawa's books. Oh, well, that's a crescent lock. They're the most common kind of window lock in, in homes for a reason. They get the uh, job done. I doubt to, uh, it's probably the ones it only goes like halfway. Oh, full circle. I don't know. I don't know what the hell is. Or maybe it goes up and down. I imagine that's the crescent lock. I have crescent locks. I think I think that's the crescent lock. You just kind of switch switch. Sometimes it's on the bottom and you go left to right. Sometimes it's on the side and you go up to down, you know. Maybe not. <laughs> Stop with the burglary gone wrong. Afterwards, the unlucky cat creeped out the whole family enough that my grandmother pawned it off. Unsurprisingly, the family lost track of the statue after that, so I expect it's not see it again. Amasawa. You're saying you definitely heard the meow of a cat on the night your grandfather yes. died. 
I have no doubt. I believe it was around 1.30 in the morning. I woke up in the middle of the night to get a glass of water and pass by my grandfather's study. That was when I heard a meowing sound come from the room. Did your grandparents have a pet cat? Or maybe it was a stray cat outside the window? No, they didn't have any cats. And I definitely would have known if a stray cat had gotten in. Okay? With a rampo in the yard, no cats could have gotten by with him barking up a storm. Okay? And I distinctly remember the sound being loud enough to come from the room. Not from outside the house, okay? Seriously? Creepy. Oh. What's even creepier is, I can e remember my grandfather telling me more than once. When that cat cries, Miss Fortune comes calling. What was that? What? I was given strict orders to never approach the study if I ever heard a cat meowing in there. That's why, once I heard that cat... I ran back to my room and hid, terrified. And the next day, my grandfather was. That must have been so hard. <laughs> if I'd just been brave enough to go in the room instead of running, I could have. Maybe I could have prevented my grandfather from dying. Hey. I never hear that. Yeah, that sound is, sounds so bad. Yeah, don't. <laughs> well, yeah, the cat's meowing because I'm trying to shove it up my ass. Never come inside. Seven years ago, you were only about 11, right? Don't blame yourself for being scared. A truly artful detective can solve incidents before they even occur. I wonder if her grandfather's own incident has not, has anything to do with Amosawa taking that saying so seriously. <laughs> Come on, son. Thank you for going out of your way to help us today. <laughs> this is the theory yet. Nope. It's my pleasure. Let's not talk about pleasure. You find any clues? Maybe even a lead mm. now? Unfortunately, I'm not so sure. Hmm? Did it just try to crawl up? Uh oh. <gasps> bah, bah, bah. Final destination. That's what I'm talking about. It skipped him. Now it's coming for the kid. We got to go find Amasawa. We gotta go save her. De oh no, she's just right here. Never mind. She'll be fine. Death skipped over this guy. We have to make sure. That Whatever the premise of the, the final destinations were. Are you okay? I'm so sorry. I guess it wasn't secured all the way. Is that the unlucky cat? I don't know. Was that, that was that. That definitely was not a cat. It was more like a. I think what we were hearing was like metal or something just stuff kind of breaking before it falls i'm not sure exactly dad please what's gonna take for you to get rid of the damn statue son no statue has ever made me feel this good even if i'm starting to get freaked out by this i just need it well we should get home thanks again for today Keep an eye out for each other. One of you is next. Does Amasawa have something to say? I'm not sure if she, uh. Never mind. Excuse me. Uh huh. Please and thank you. Would you mind leaving the statue with us for a while? Oh. <laughs> Leave it with you, but it's worth two million yen. Yes, until we can debunk the curse. But aren't you worried this curse is starting to look pretty real deal to me? My grandfather once said curses only blight their believers. Did he now? Did he now? She's like, I see how this is oh. This isn't the song, but this is a song. He also said you must never succumb to the marvel of a mystery. You must keep your wits about you. Despite my age, he imparted his philosophy and mystery solving to me before his death, and I hold the truths he shared with me in the highest regard. As Katan Amasawa's grandchild, I cannot back down to these strange events and turn away from a genuine mystery. I refuse to believe in this curse. Therefore, it will have no effect on my pursuit of the truth. Still, not only that, this is a mystery that needs solving by Amasawa. Oh, Amasawa-san. When I heard that meow seven years ago, I ran from the truth. 
and the result was absolute horrible. I'll never make that mistake again. <gasps> okay. If that's the case, I'll leave it with you. Please, find a way to break the curse before something bad happens again. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Excuse I don't me. think we should have this on us. Hopefully she takes it home with her. By the way, I heard that you bought the statue from a friend who runs a secondhand shop. Which one would that be? <laughs> Give me the little one. Ebu Sapan. Oh, yeah. We know where that is. Got it. I'll go speak to them now. Thanks. I almost was really into the case. Guess I shouldn't be surprised considering. Well, I should step up uh, my advising efforts for her on this one. What? Do better? Ebu Sapan is just over... Schmear? Wrong. Right, Schmear? Nope, wrong. Schmear? Nope. Uh, Abusupon is right. Schmear? Nope. Right, Schmear? Yep. I should have followed the blue marker. Oh, we still have her following us. Oh, fucking catch up. There's bad guys on the street. We don't want to get beat up. They're onto us. Amasawa, run. Amasawa's going to get jumped. Those, those grown ass men are about to go beat up that child. Oh man, we almost got ran over. Oh my god, they're afraid to cross the street. Run, Amasawa, they will murder you. They will kill you. Oh god, look at those punk asses. They didn't even notice us run around. Yeah. Wait for you. Okay, alright. Alright, we'll wait for her. She survived. Good job. Nope, you're going the wrong way, you idiot. Alright, let's go. Oh, okay, we're here. Excuse me, sir. Have you heard a cat meow? Excuse me. This is a bad time. I'm from Yagami Detective Agency, also advisor of a child's detective agency. We'd like to ask oh. you a few questions. Oh, detective. It's a pleasure. Of the children's agency, not the adult one. I'm his assistant, Kyoko Amasawa. Your assistant? A high schooler? Is there a problem? Yeah. No, no, not particularly. What is it you wanted to ask? We're looking into this lucky stat this cat uh, lucky, uh, lucky cat statue for Mikio Shimada san. He says he knows you. This is for Shimada san. Do you mind if I ask, how did you first come to acquire the statue? This pawnbroker friend of mine closed up the shop, so I bought his remaining inventory. Couldn't vouch for the statue's authenticity, though. Until. Well, he knew it was a real thing now, so maybe we ought to fill him in on uh, that one, eh? Might make a mess of things. You don't happen to know who sold that cat to your friend originally, do you? Nope, sorry. Yeah, I told you blah, 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 and ended up in the shop. But he didn't know any specifics. Probably why he couldn't authenticate the thing. See, thanks anyways. Oh, one last question. This might sound odd, but when you still have the statue in the shop, did anything... Strange ever happened here? Yeah. Strange? Ah, you mean the curse? Ah, I don't, bl I don't buy into that stuff. Nothing ever happened here. Doesn't make me change my mind either. Hmm. <laughs> Feeling gross. <laughs> Nothing at all. Are you sure? Nope. Guy I got the statue from never mentioned any of the sort. Although I suppose he might have just not wanted to sound crazy. Oh, I see. Yagami-san. san Does this mean the so-called curse didn't begin until Shimada-kun's father acquired the statue? Yeah. Yeah, sounds like it. Anyway. Hmm? Why is there smoke? Is someone burning? Oh, shit. It's on fire. Are you serious? Really? Is that guy trying to do the wave as well? Someone firebombed the store? Just whoosh out of nowhere. Big flame. Glad I didn't get any worse. Can't be. Yeah, what do you think started the fire? Oh, it's because we're holding the statue. What ouch. <laughs> Gross is that that one. Hmm. That's that smell. Imagine the smell of something like that. I'd have to say the number of incidents around this cat is getting ridiculous. I don't think this is coincidence at all anymore. Mm -hmm. Hang on, do you smell something? Gasoline? Yes? 
That would mean there's a chance that the fire earlier was actually yes. arson. Agreed. What do you say we search the scene really quick before the police get yeah. here? Check and observe for any traces in the area. Keep sharp for anything like gasoline traces or other stuff. Well, we see the trace right there. Boom. Gasoline right there. Suspicious. Hmm. Something was dripping here. Pedro, it was gasoline based on the color and yeah. smell. Yeah, this goes all the way to the alley. Let's see if we can track it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, sure is going all the way over here, uh-huh. Oh, what's this? A bottle? Which means Yeah. Someone purposely did this. It was arson. Maybe the guy's pissed off because we took his butt cat. I know if I lost my butt cat, I'd want to burn this motherfucker down. Butt cat. Meow. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> How should we proceed with the investigation from here? That, uh, hopefully, we hear a meow at the very end of this. Yeah, and they think the curse is gone and everyone's butt's okay, and then they walk off, and then a cat struts across the screen and goes meow as it looks at us. Yeah, real thriller style. <laughs> now that we know the fire at the pawn shop was essentially set, what I'd love to do is pin down our little fire bug. What? Pin them down how, exactly? Yeah. Well, I don't know anything, anything about them, but they're obviously after the statue. Maybe we can just lure them out somehow? Mm -hmm. Solid enough idea. Where should we start? I suppose just meandering around town ought to do it. Considering how quickly the pawn shop was hit, can't imagine it's taking long. Genuine hard-boiled legwork. Ah, a lot riskier than my usual investigations. Yeah. This is a longer one. Nah, please let me continue on the case. Please this is... I need to solve this myself. Yeah, I can solve gotcha. please. Okay, you really have to be careful and keep your distance when you're in public. Got it. I'm basically a walking tragedy magnet. <laughs> Carrying around this yes. thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wow. darts. Why do I... I don't want to... Fuck! Only one person has to take their eyes off their surroundings at a time, and if someone does come after us, you can always uh, counter with some darts to the face. Yes. She knows she she knows her stuff. She knows her stuff. This medical coding program is self-paced. I literally started yesterday and around 24 hours ago. I'm ready to get out of this job and not and not fucking around. I am almost done with this week's sixth level of this course. Oh no. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. Finishing it too quickly though, what 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 would that do? Give you more free time. <laughs> nice. Hell yeah. So that's not gonna be bad at all. The issue is, are you gonna get tested periodically? If you get too far ahead, and then you kind of maybe forget some of the content, and then you have to test, and it's like, oh shit, I gotta go back all the way to like weeks ago. I can see that being an issue. Oh, okay, in that case, if you can test direct directly after finishing the assignments, then that's awesome. Then you can just get through the shit real quick. I did that with some classes. <sighs> Not many ever allowed to be able to do something like get ahead of yourself. Just kind of do it at your own pace. That's awesome. That stretch was awesome. Uh, I think we're just gonna close our eyes and <clears throat> just take a little nap. Okay, we'll get back to the case. Playing darts with the child. She said, if people try to sneak up on us, we can just turn around and throw darts to their face. Nope. Week stuff ends with the test, and it's been like simple maths. <laughs> nice grammar so far. The next, sir. 
just goes to show how like and this is for a certification certification and you uh, and everything's pretty pretty basic stuff yeah that's just weird it's like why would we learn all of this advanced stuff throughout school but then when it really comes down to it it's like you really only really need to know this simple stuff I guess if you're a specialist in anything, you'd want to know the advanced stuff. That's interesting. I've never had to use my super advanced math knowledge, although that knowledge is far gone. Ooh, basic anatomy? That's, uh, that's probably not as fun as normally when I would hear that. <laughs> uh, I'm sure the medical terminology and procedures are probably still difficult. But yeah, you're good at it, so you're... <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that stuff sounds hard. Oh, and insurance. Yeah, that stuff can get complicated. Hmm. Whenever it comes to, like, guidelines, and I don't know. Maybe it's not hard, but it can get tedious having to remember the rules of everything. I can't imagine anything would be too difficult, though, with you, someone who's gone through the medical stuff. That, that, that stuff is... Gotta be the hardest stuff to learn. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's all of it. Oh man, that's expensive though. Pieces. With this certificate, what do you get with this certificate? What or like uh what does it allow you to do? It just allows you to, to do this job at home. That's what the certificate is. It allows you to do the insurance thingies. After this, I might do the paralegal course. Oh man, legal stuff would be so freaking it. That would be such a headache. That could be cool though, because yeah, you already have the specialty with medicine. You can. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Per class? Holy crap. Yeah, this seems like a way better, <laughs> way better way. Land arts. Hey, you know, sometimes doing the same thing all the time gets really boring. You're jack of all trades, then, uh, yeah, you got more options. Short game. Let's do this, Yagmi san. Let's go. Let's go. Whoopsie. Nice one, me. There's that was nurse fairly well. <laughs> yeah. I've always been a fan of you know learning stuff. After after school, I, yeah. I, if I could, I probably would have went to school forever. I I enjoyed I enjoyed school. I didn't enjoy. I enjoyed learning new things, sure, right? And I enjoyed lectures and stuff. But I can't say I, I really enjoyed always going to class. Oopsie. A fuck. A two? A damn two? Lots of winning falling. Ooh, hell yeah. Mm 
I've heard of it. Maybe next time. That's cool. It's very cool. My turn then. All right, where are we at? She's beating us. I need a 24. Uh. We need four. We need four. We're fine. I just hit one. I just go pop, pop, pop. There's no way she's going to beat us on, this, on her next turn. Med oh no. Son of a convicted a nurse for giving wrong medication. I don't I, I definitely didn't, you know, I don't know anything about the case or anything, but yikes. That's kind of scary. Like, it seems convicting someone of help, like, trying to help, even though they did it incorrectly, like, they messed up, you're still gonna, you're gonna send someone to jail? Seems scary. I don't think I would want to work for <laughs> I don't think I'd want to do that stuff anymore if I was a... What, because someone dies and they just didn't get it right? I'm sure that there's, there's probably some specifics. I'm sure... Actually, I don't know, I don't know. Did she make a big mistake or something? How do you prove that, like, like it wasn't intentional? I'm a Sawa. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't paying attention at all. We were focused on the game. Oh, did she beat me? I didn't pay attention to that. That's right. I guess that did end. Because I didn't get those last four. I was so close. We almost had it. I almost had her. Basically, a doctor ordered a drug in an emergency. She had to override all the safe checks to get it out. And the doctor was not the one in trouble, but the nurse, because she's actually the one that did the... In what? The actual deed. She's the one getting in trouble for it, even though she has to follow the doctor's orders. Oh, okay. Hmm. What? If I were to guess. How did she beat me at the end there? Fuck. I see. Okay, but is that really is is that a bad thing to do? Aren't you know? It seems like in an emergency they should be able allowed to do that. Right? It ended up being a drug used to paralyze a person basically before you. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Okay. I always wondered that. So they were going to die anyways, but they did die from the drug. Well, if they were going to die anyways, why does the why is the use of the drug why was that so bad? Other than the use of the drug made it so. Oh my god! So the doctor can't be in trouble, but she can because oh my god! No fucking way! Yep, no way, no freaking way. And she was convicted. 
even though she was just following orders. That is unbelievable. I can't Im there's got to that that's got to be the last time that happens. Speaking of burning, is that not sparking some sort of like uproar that with any nurse with all of the nurses in the world? Obsessing over rote memorization would affect my reasoning skills. Well, I if they're following the orders of the doctors, they need to be studies. held at the same. I admit that's also it should be something I try not to think about. <laughs> if the doctor like gets a free pass, they should it should be the same. The fact sometime. No, stop it. They're a freaking team. Oh, that is ridiculous. We gotta run up her all the way across town. All the checks, and that can take 10 or 15 minutes sometimes. Oh my god. And so, in an emergency, there they won't be able to react in time. And, People are probably going to die because everyone has to be extra precautious now so they won't be held liable. There's probably a lot of people that were saved by people bypassing in this one time where maybe, it, you know, it ended up fucking it, it ended up killing the person. And now all of those future people that would have been saved from it, no one's, you know, everyone's too afraid to, to what, bypass now. That's, that's horrible. That's horrible. There's going to be a lot of deaths in the near future, then. That maybe could have been helped. Yeah, I wouldn't either if I were them. Oh my god. Yeah. That's good. That's good. It, I mean, it's horrible, but that's good that so many quit. Karana. That was like a kip up for Karana. Get the hell out of here. You got the jacket. Shut up, girl. You'll catch up.
No, I wanted to do it on a passing car. Really good. good teamwork? That's not what I meant to do, but I'm happy with it. Schoolboy ass, that sounds horrible. I really spanked those schoolboys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. I think what, um, not, not just paying attention to wrestling for so many years, but what really hones you in on, on learning wrestling moves is creating so many characters throughout, throughout, uh, all those you know wwe games and just any wrestling game throughout the years always looking at because it's one thing to hear commentators say the names of wrestling moves but to see lists of wrestling moves that you just go through and you see the name you see the action you see the variations and the minor differences with this or that like um <laughs> this day and age i bet there's probably a lot of gamers uh that are fans of wrestling that are pretty decent with some wrestling move knowledge Oh, we're doing more bat swinging. Yes. All right, maybe we can do a little better from than last time. Last time we were actually here on a date, and it didn't go well. Here we go. <laughs> All right. That's one. No. See, already I failed. I swear, you need to get like. You need to get all ten. Not good. This one doesn't have a change up. It only has a curve. Damn, that was a bad hit. I swung way too early on that. A slider? Apparently he does have more pitches. I uh, guess he does have more. That's not good. Hold on. Nice. Do, do, do two more pitches. Yep. Oh, that was like a perfect bullseye right in that middle of the home run. Pretty cool. <clears throat> we pulled off some at the end, but yeah, that's not good. We're out. Oh, we got a B rank last time. Why did we do so bad last time? I could have sworn we did better. Did we do better? I don't know. That's weird. Oh well. Hmm? Nah. This is still having to do with cats. Oh, that's funny. I guess so. Kind of weird. Usually I get a few more hits than that. Blame it on the cat, sure, 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 sure. Ah. What is this hey. water going to do to it? Okay. So any luck on your end? Spotting one? Yeah, about that. I've seen a few somewhat suspicious people, but no one seems to be paying us any attention. It looks like it, but we're actually on a case. We did just go on a date earlier today, and we went to the batting club. But um, it was quick and it didn't really, it didn't go well. We're trying to find someone, we're trying to find someone that's like purposely causing bad luck to happen. Are you someone jealous that we have the statue? Hey. Is your grandfather the reason you started the Mystery yes. Research Club? In fact, he's the reason I grew so obsessed with mysteries in general. He's been a very big influence on my life. In me life. Do you see yourself becoming a mystery out there in the future? Mm. Certainly hope so. No more than that. I believe it's something I must do. Really? Yes. Creeper told my dream is to complete his unfinished oh. masterpiece. That's cool. Uh, the girl that was in the mascot outfit that was super shy and like couldn't talk to us unless she had the mascot outfit on. <laughs> Cute. Do you have an unfinished master uh, manuscript? Uh, I 
I still haven't found I still haven't found the nurse slash counselor of the school that uh, I know we can date. I just haven't seen her pop up on the map. me Can you see something doo, doo. that was weird what you do that for hey huh? oh please keep eye on her and shouting she spotted someone there's a man across the street who keeps looking at mm -hmm. us there is Oh, ho, ho, now that I think of it, he was at the arcade too. What? All this yes. here. So, he wasn't acting suspicious there at first, but later, when I took off with the statue and hid from his sight, he was looking around in a panic like he'd lost sight of something. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Do you think he's been after us this whole time? Zoom so. Calculate a risk? What is it you want to calculate? Yes. I stay here and distract him. Would you be willing to slip out and loop back around him? Sneak up. That way you can catch him before he has a chance to I escape. See. see me coming from here. How can I sneak up on him without getting caught? Um, I don't know. Coins? Throwing shit? He recognized me. I guess he didn't see him. What the fuck? How can I sneak up on him without getting caught? Uh, I don't know. How do I crouch? Looks like we're climbing. No? Let's circle around. Circle around, eh? Oh, that's what they're saying. They're saying go back and use my fucking uh, listening device. So why do they keep doing that? Well, where is he then? So he's across the way over there. Right? Where, the f Where is this asshole? He was across the street. I can't walk forward. <laughs> it's not that that's not useful at all fuck in a what do they want from me it said gather from a distance let's see Not sure what they're what they want. Maybe we got to go over to the other side. The alleyway on the other end uh, has a clear shot, I suppose. Unless we're supposed to climb.
No, what the fuck? Alright. I feel like we have to sneak up. I leave too early? So she said to go out the back door. This is starting to frustrate me. She said get out the back door, go around so when he comes in you can approach him without him running away. Anytime we try to go around or away from them, it says you can't. Okay, so he says we can, he recognizes our jacket. What if we change our outfit? Are we allowed to do that? Holy shit, we are. There we are. This is our first time being allowed to be incognito. I wish they would have mentioned something, but that, that was their thin way. Of, that was their... Some, yeah, that was their way of saying it was, oh, he recognizes this jacket. <laughs> this is our first time being able to be a vampire. Hey. Mm -hmm. oh. And you're a firebug. <laughs> so you went through hoops trying to disguise himself for this. That's a huge cat. Based on what we were discussing earlier, that that is a big cat. Mm -hmm. It's all what, pray tell. Is there something on the cat that could put you away for good, perhaps? Ah, uh, this guy murdered her grandfather. Hey. How dare you? Kick him. Nice. Got him. That didn't break I'm either. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, I suppose I was a bit rambunctious when I was little. Still have what it takes to raise a bit of hell when needed. You fuckers. I'm just gonna kill you both and take the thing. Oh no. Oh no. Fox and Vampire.
say. Nah. Nah. He's out cold. Let's tie him up just in case. Yagami-san. <sighs> if I were to guess. Yeah. Yes. Yagami-san. Throw a look over. All right. Suspicious. What the hell? What the? Okay, so they put it right in the middle. Seriously? What? Oh, the neck comes off. Eyeball's eyeball jiggles a little actually. I can push it in a bit too. Oh, what the fuck? It probably opens up. Which means you know, if the eyes and the neck are, could it be an eye for the truth will eventually find the way? Hold on to that keen eye and take a good look around. What was that? What? Um... Sorry, I just remember my grandfather saying this once while holding the cat. He said it was pride, but it always stuck out some somewhat odd if to I me. Were to guess. Maybe he was giving me a hint all the way back then. A hint to how the cat yes. looks? Sometimes he'd give me clues to see if I could pick up on a mystery as a sort of a game. I see. See, but what do you think he meant by it? Perhaps we're supposed to hold on to the eye and make the head go round. Um... Go round? Yeah. You should hold the eye, the loose eye in place and spin the head. In other words... Yes! What's inside the cat? Good money. Uh, oh, it turned. The arm. That can be sound look. Oh god, it talked. Oh, cool. Just can't be. me out, so it's a trick statue. A fingerprint. <laughs> Dark red stain all dried up. Oh no, blood. That's blood. He used it to murder. Oh, oh, his fingerprints are on it. That's what he needed. No way. He takes so uh, all all the way back then. <laughs> Seven years later, the granddaughter caught the culprit, the murderer. He's just so tired. know why he wants the cat. You don't know exactly what happened seven years ago. It can't be. That being said... that cat, the old man had a bar of gold. Huh? 
The way he was grinning at it, I knew it was real. It had to be worth millions. I jumped at him without even thinking. I tussled for a bit, so I grabbed the cat and I whacked him in the head with it. What did you? And then you took the gold and ran off. Yeah. Thought I was gonna be made for life, damn it. In the end, goddamn lone shark just swiped it from me and pretended it never happened. If I were to guess, stacked up some books by the window and put the statue on top, but its arm lowered, mind you. <laughs> so it ends up hitting the statue. What fell on the grandpa? I assume he arranged the books rather unstably so it would collapse. Oh, what the fuck? This that's too advanced. Shoot upward and engage the window lock, effectively sealing the room. Which would then make it appear as if no one had broken it. How could he have thought? That, that that's ridiculous. He was just peeping in how long was he watching? He he had to have thought of this for a while before he actually attacked. So then it doesn't even look like anything was like anything happened. I mean, they're talking about a murder here, and they have that upbeat music going. I see. That's brilliant. Which means. This right. Hmm? Oh, you're tearing his glove. In other words, Why would he search all this? Him coming back and trying to get that statue back is the only reason why he was caught. <laughs> yeah, the appraisal on the TV, that's right. Doesn't mean you're the one causing all the trouble for yeah. Yeah, first I tried sneaking into their place. The only reason why we even started to investigate was because of all the weird stuff that was happening. None of that weird stuff would have happened. There would have never been an investigation. No stuff. Nothing would have been found out. Is 
thought I was a ghost and straight up passed out. Oh my god, why didn't he just take the cat then? Wait, did you leave the window open? Oh, not, I, I had a cold that night. Must have given it to him. <laughs> That's funny. Nine hours. <laughs> That's funny. That's responsible for getting the guy sick. You tried to burn their house down too, didn't you? Well, if I were to guess, since the intimidation failed, you thought you could just resort to torturing them and civil means. Damn. Are you the one who tried to run over Shimada's son too? The one who caused the accident outside the cafe the other day? You're really good, kid. I figured if the owner tried, died, his family would just get rid of the creep. Yeah. Nah. Huh? What about that? What about what? It doesn't have anything to do with that one. No. Of course not. Fear makes mountains of molehills. Because they were so convinced misfortune would befall them, even the most harmless things were perceived as part of the curse. Yes. This is a long one. Huh? Yeah. Hmm. What? Side case complete. Vampire detective did it again. Actually, that's the first time being a vampire detective. Does still kill some time. The fuck. Oh, I see. Okay, well. Mm -hmm. Ah. Yagami san. Hmm. I'm a sour. Hmm. No. Uh. Huh. Oh. Hmm. Extra yes. rope. So it looks like anytime we find these, we have to use a different detective device. I can hear. Yo, super sister, you just got. Huh. 
cool. Cool, cool. Yeah. Seriously? Okay, very cool. Yeah. At that last place we were, that was that plague place. Let's go there, because that's an interesting treasure. And I know we found one at that plague place. I think I've seen them other other places, but it's I don't me. know. That might also kill some time. Mark it off on the map. Yeah, like, yep, you found this one already. No, where was that? This. Oh, come on. Get up. Get up. You know, I would, but we're already on our way to this other spot, so let's do that first. Really, guys? Right in here. Oh, no, it's right in there. Come on, get me in there. I'm curious of what the treasure is. We were sitting somewhere right here. right there. Bingo. Camel paint? I mean, that's kind of silly. 56 of them? And they all have some sort of reward? That's dope. That's crazy. Tasty, thanks. I got all Excuse me. And there's a guy that was literally right next to it. That's an easy gold plate. Where have we seen other squirrels?
sure there's more at the school. This is... Yeah, this is right. Okie dokie. We didn't get through a chapter today, but that's okay. We'll pick the... Oh. We'll pick this up on Monday. Um, everyone have a good night. Anyone out there lurking. Thanks for hanging out, guys.